Hope you're all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Rana. I hope that you guys are enjoying these uh, collaboration videos as much as I am because today's video is in collaboration with the one and only Alo. She is uh, planning with Alo on Instagram as well as over here on YouTube. And, um, you know, when I think functional planning, uh, Aloe definitely comes to mind. She is the uh, functional planning queen. I have been following her for over a year now. We've uh, definitely become pretty good friends and she has inspired me so much. I mean, my planning uh, has definitely changed uh, because of Alo. So I would highly recommend that you check out her um, social media accounts. I will have them linked in the description box below and show her some love. So our collaboration um, is basically uh, five ways to overcome a planner funk or five ways uh, to get out of a planner funk. So if that sounds like something that uh, you would be interested in seeing, I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. So um, a planner funk, for those of you who may not know, is basically when you're not motivated to use your planner. So we've all experienced, um, you know, uh, maybe being a little overwhelmed or having something happening in our personal lives that stops us from wanting to use our planner. Um, you know, again, we're overwhelmed. There's just so much happening that, you know, using your planner starts to become more of a chore than something that you enjoy doing. So um, I wanted to share from experience because again, we've all experienced being in a planner funk um, from experience, what has helped me to overcome exactly uh, that. So the first thing that I would say to do, or my first tip would be to take a break from planning, close your planner and put it aside, take a break a week, a month, um, you know, however long that you need. And in the words of my good friend, uh, Ms. Danny Plans, don't feel bad about it. Okay, we all go through it. Take a break. You know, you don't want to see your planner. You want nothing to do with it. Um, if you need to take a break from social media and just do other things that you love. And what I would suggest using in the meantime um, would be notepads. These notepads over here are from cloth and paper. So you can use them to help you plan um, your day, your week, whatever you need to do. Um, another thing that you can use would be sticky notes to help you get through your planning until you feel motivated to use your planner again. Okay, so again, I've shared some of these sticky notes before, but um, I really, again, like these ones from Poi and Hun because I can plan my day. And these ones over here you can use for weekly planning. But any sticky notes or any notepads that you have um, will definitely do the trick. The whole point is to continue planning in some way, shape, or form um, until you start feeling motivated to use your planner again. Okay? So once you've taken a break and you feel like, you know, you want to start using your planner again, um, what I would suggest doing is take everything out. Okay. So take your planner and do what it's called a planner purge or a declutter. So EO edits has a really good uh, freebie, which I will link for you guys in the description box below, um, on exactly how to do a planner purge. And I'll just kind of highlight or go over some things because those have worked for me as well. And basically it's taking everything out of your planner and going through, you know, everything that's in here. Are there some inserts that maybe you haven't used in weeks or months even, or maybe a year that are just taking up space for nothing? So maybe that's contributing to why you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. So again, go through all your inserts and slowly start adding uh, those inserts that you're using. So start minimal and build up from there, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Um, again, you know, start minimal and uh, start with your essentials of what you need in order to um, get going again. All right. And the third tip that I would 
um, recommend. And what I did is get a new cover. Okay, <laughs> so um, I have recently posted my inboxing. This is the uh, Louis Vuitton MM Agenda in the Aben print. So again, you know, if you're bored with your old cover, it could be that you just are looking for something new. It doesn't have to be, you know, a Louis Vuitton planner. It could be any planner, any price point, whatever you're looking at. But it could help you to, you know, feel motivated to plan again. So I would um, recommend getting a new cover or changing out your dividers, okay? Changing out your dividers, I find also helps. So I tend to go back and forth between uh, these dividers that are from Sessa V are in the black foil. And I've recently switched to these uh, dividers from Sessa V, which are in the gold foil, okay? So changing out your cover or your uh, dividers can also um, make a difference with, you know, getting um, that motivation back and opening your planner up and being excited about it, okay? The next tip that I would have is to add some deco in your planner. So maybe your, um, you know, and these are extra planners that I don't use. That's why they're in the monogram. <laughs> um, so basically, you know, just looking at your inserts and everything in your planner maybe it's a little bit boring maybe you know you need something to pretty up your planner or some maybe maybe motivational um, planner cards or quotes uh, dashboards change up your dashboard so add some deco to your planner so um, you know again maybe you just need some like this is new that I've added here so ask for what you want and be prepared to get it um, you know, adding some, again, motivational quotes could help with that. Maybe, again, I've recently just changed my dashboard. I was using this for the longest time. Um, then I switched to... This dashboard with that motivational quote. And again, there is nothing wrong with changing up your dashboards. It's your planner. Do as you like and never feel bad about it, all right? So changing up your dashboards or adding dashboards or adding deco, adding motivational uh, quotes in your planner helps to kind of change things up a little. And sometimes, you know, you're going through something different. So adding quotes that go along with what you're going through um, will help, right? So again, um, you know, adding deco or inspirational quotes definitely helps as well. And the last thing that I would say is to follow new people on Instagram. Because what I find is when you follow the same people, your setup tends to look the same as everybody else's setup, right? Am I right? So, um, you know, I'll notice, for example, I follow uh, a lot of the minimalistic uh, planners and all of us, you know, we seem to like the same shops. So our dashboards are going to be the same. Our inserts are going to look the same. Um, so sometimes it's nice to follow somebody who maybe uses a different style planner, uh, who maybe uses um, deco. I don't know. So again, it always helps to follow different people um, on Instagram or on YouTube and get ideas of maybe something that they're implementing that will work for you and to get you excited about using your planner. So I hope those tips helped. Um, you know, I'm interested to know what worked for you. So let me know in the description or in the comment box below, um, you know, what helped you to get out of a planner funk. And I can't wait to see what Allo, uh, what Allo's tips are. Uh, for getting out of a planner funk. Again, we've all experienced it. So it's really exciting to see or interesting to see what other people, um, you know, would write down as well. So again, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope that you would give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. So until uh, my next video, take care guys and please stay safe out there. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.